Hello and welcome to day three of the five day fitness challenge. My name is Meg. In today's workout, the focus is on improving arm and leg strength. All you'll need for the workout today is one weight. Now, if you don't have weights, you can always use a water bottle or even canned goods work too. This is another video that I filmed a few years ago in the Arboretum. So enjoy, and I hope you have a wonderful workout. Now, don't forget to let us know below where you're tuning in from, and also if you're a golfer or a gardener. Enjoy the workout. Hi there, great to see you for day three of our challenge. So today's video is focusing on arm and leg strength. So if you are really wanting to build some strength so that your gardening becomes easier, so that golfing becomes easier, so everything in general this spring and summer becomes a lot easier for you because you just have that strength, then this is a video you are going to love. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to warm up our body before we move to the weights. Now I've got one weight that I'm going to be using today. If you don't have a weight, you can also use a water bottle that's full, or you can use cans, or even something around the house. That works too. Alrighty, so let's get started. We're going to begin with a bit of a warm up. We're going to be doing some figure eights with those arms. So march it out, march on the spot and take those arms right in front and, uh, and, and crisscross as you go front and to the sides. All right, so I do encourage you, whatever activity you're, you're focusing on this spring or summer, to really warm up your body before we get into it. All right, awesome job. A few more here. Remember to breathe in and out as we go. All right, very good. All right, from here we're gonna be tapping those toes in front. Reach your opposite arm right in front. I'll show you from the side. As we do this one, squeeze your shoulder blade back. Reach and squeeze. So I hope you're enjoying the challenge so far. I hope you're enjoying these 15 minute workouts that you can do outside like I am or you can do them inside as well. All right, very good. Now we'll do one more. We're going to be taking a step and tap that foot behind the side the other one. We're going to be reaching up. There we go. In and out. Awesome. What I love about filming outside is you never know what's going to happen behind you. <laughs> All right, there we go, Finley's passed out, <laughs> so let's keep going for three, and two, and one. All right, so I encourage you to grab that weight, we're going to move right into our first workout. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to hold on to one weight or whatever else you have that's heavy, and we're going to be starting with our dumbbell deadlift. So I'll show you from the side. We're gonna start with straight legs. You wanna bend your knees just slightly. We're gonna keep our back straight. What we wanna do is we wanna hinge at our hips, lean over, keep your arms straight, and we wanna tighten up those legs and straighten them as we stand tall. We're going to be bending the knees slightly and stand tall. So this one is really targeting the back of the legs. And you may do this motion if you're leaning over for long periods of time. Doing some gardening. All right, good. So we want to think about squeezing our glutes as we rise up, using the back of the legs to bring ourselves up nice and tall. And another good habit is to get into squeezing our shoulder blades back. Great posture. All right, awesome. Let's do it just a few more times. Let's go for five. And then four. Three. Two. And one more. 
All right, awesome. So you should feel that in the back of the legs, good for your back as well, and your arms. Now, the next one we're gonna do is the bent over row. So I'm gonna show you from the side. We're gonna start with one, one arm. I want you to take one leg in front of the other, bend those knees. Now, if you're at home and you've got a chair, you can hold onto a chair for balance. Or if you're like me, nothing to hold on to, you can place your hand on your knee or your hip. And what we'll do here is we're gonna hinge forward slightly. So have that arm nice and straight, and then we're gonna be bending your elbow, lifting that weight. All right, so this is really good for back strength. You can feel this in your arms as well. Straight the arm and lift up. All right, so this is gonna be good and helpful if you're carrying soil around, if you're carrying your um, vegetables, any herbs, any flowers. Awesome job. Really, guys? Really? So let's go for five more. Yay, and four. Three. Two. And one. All right, good. Let's rise up, switch hands, and we'll circle this arm backwards to the other side next. Alright, that'll face the other way. Other foot in front. Alright, we're going to be leaning over. Make sure your legs are wide enough. Place you your hand on your knee. Arms straight. And bend that elbow. Lifting the weight. Just watch your, your wrist. That's not bending. It's just staying nice and straight. And line your feet up. Breathing in, in and out. And I find in order to protect your neck, you can just look down towards the floor. I'll walk you through it. Five more. Good. Last three. You sing this in your back. Two. And one. All right. Excellent. That's great. Change hands. We'll circle this arm backwards. It's good to stretch in between these strengthening exercises. Alrighty, so our next one, we'll stick to this side. We're gonna do our bicep curl, and this is really good if you are lifting heavy things, maybe heavy bags of soil, uh, maybe you're carrying your golf clubs as well. So let's start by curling your weight up to your shoulder and then relax your arm beside you. Breathing in and out. Now today we're gonna be doing 10 repetitions of everything. But as you do these exercises, you can definitely do 15 reps, 20 reps, or you can even do this video a second time through. Not a bad idea. For the sake of time, we're gonna do 10 on each side. All right, that being said, we've got two more. Feeling the front of the arm working, and one. All right, let's do the other side. Here we go, so curling up. Relaxing your arm down. Try not to squeeze your elbow in towards your body. Good. So it's important to have upper body strength when you're doing these hobbies that you enjoy. It makes recovery time a lot easier as well. Because I know many people, and you're probably one of those, that you don't want to be stopped by your body not feeling good. So having a stronger and more, more flexible um, torso and arms and legs can really make a difference for you. One more here. All right, awesome. Now we're going to change hands again. This time we're going to be doing some wrist circles. So you can do this one of two ways. You can have your arm down and just do some circles like this. Holding on to that weight. Or if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can have your wrist up like this. Do a carpal tunnel or any uh, wrist issues. I suggest keeping holding on to the weight, or even doing it without the weight too. Change directions. All right, good. And then we'll move to the other side. Here we go, circling the wrist. May feel funny. Far up. Good. And then change directions really does feel funny. <laughs> but it's important to have strong wrists. Really, really important. For those of you who are golfers, you know that you need that wrist strength, that hand strength, in order to really 
uh, have a good game. Alrighty, let's go for two and one. All right, awesome job. So the next one we'll do, I'm gonna show you first without the weight. The weight is an option. Um, we're gonna be doing some split squats. So what this looks like, in normal squats, your feet are together or close to, to each other. Split, we're gonna take one foot in front of the other like this, right? Side, looks like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be leaning forward slightly. So hinge at the hips. We're gonna be leaning and uh, lean forwards as we bend those knees. Now watch that you keep your heel pressing into the ground the whole time. Now this is going to be helpful for people, for those of you who are lifting things. Once again, we're all doing lots of lifting these days, aren't we? Alright, and the option here is to either keep your hands on your hips, hold on to a chair for balance, or reach the arms low as you bend the those knees. Now this is one that's really good for your knee strength. We'll help to build up those muscles around your knees. All right, awesome job. We'll do a few more here. Last three, two, and one. All right, we're going to change legs, other foot in front. This time we're going to face the front. And we're going to do that same motion. Keep your heel pressed into the floor, lean reach or hands on your hips for balance or hold on to something for stability. All right, you can choose to reach and squeeze the shoulder blades back this time. Awesome. All right. Let's go for three, two, and one. All right, awesome, we're gonna walk it out. Great job, You've got your water, let's have a quick sip. All right, so we're gonna be moving into another exercise for the legs, we've got two more for the legs and then that's it for today. We're gonna be moving into some sumo squats. So we're gonna take the legs nice and wide, your toes should be pointing out to the corners of the room, legs are wider than your shoulders. Option one is to place your hands on your hips. You're going to be bending those knees and then standing tall. Now, as you bend your knees, you want to take your hips back, just like you're sitting on a chair straight from the side. So, take your hips back. And this again is going to help you with lifting. This is going to help you with bending and leaning over. Awesome. Now, I'm going to give you guys another option because I know some of you are ready to work a little harder. So if you've got that weight handy, grab your weight and just hold it nice and tight and you can continue with the sumo squats. All right, so do a few more of these. Hands on your hips or hold on to that weight for extra work. All right, just make sure both feet are nice and wide. If you're outside like me, make sure you're on a stable, stable surface. All right, excellent. Let's go for five and four, three, two, and one. All right, excellent job. That's great. So we're going to set the weight down. Got one more. All right, our last one we're going to do is for the hips. And if you're doing lots of walking on the golf course, then you may find that your legs can get a bit tired. You're definitely doing a lot of standing too, right? And same with gardening. You spend a lot of time maybe on your knees or leaning over. So this is really gonna help you to improve that strength from your legs, feel more stable. So option one, we're gonna place your hands on your hips, relax your shoulders down. Option one is tapping one foot to the side. Now I suggest bending your knee, bending that knee. This will help to keep you stable and take off some pressure from that knee. This is option one, tap. Option two is lifting, lifting the leg. So you might want to lean a little bit to the side to keep that balance. And you can also choose to add the arms. Awesome. 
Lesson where it's feeling this down the side of your legs, working with those hips. It's too much to lift, and just keep tapping to the side. Great. All right, let's do three, two, and one. All right, walk it out to the other side. This is our last one. I hope you're feeling really good. Let's do the other side, hands on your hips, tapping. Good. Right, bring the shoulders back, standing tall. And then if it feels good to be lifting that leg, do it on the side. You can add the arms. Does it feel so hot right now? Tap the toe to the side. Right. I would love to hear from you. I know we have so many golfers and so many gardeners who are participating in a five-day challenge. So let me know if you are a golfer or if you are a gardener. I'd love to know. All right, let's do three, two, and one. All right, let's walk it out. Amazing. So we're going to finish up with a quick stretch. Let's bring those hands together. We're going to be pressing those arms away from you. Round your back. Raise, raise the arms overhead, press up and over. Good. Awesome job. Arms down. And then we're going to take those legs nice and wide. Make sure both feet are facing the front of the room. And press into one knee, stretching the side of that leg. Good. And shift to the other side. Um, all right, I hope you're feeling really, really great, ready for your day, and I encourage you to join me tomorrow for day number four, where we've got some really great stretches for you. Really excited for tomorrow. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining in today. I hope you enjoyed the workout. This is one of five videos of the five day fitness challenge. Keep up the good work if you've got more videos to do and if you've completed them all, awesome job. Be sure to like, subscribe and share this video with a friend. Have an awesome day.